Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and I'm here today with Ivan. How are you doing today, Ivan? Doing really good. Thanks for having me today, Alvin. Yeah, always a pleasure to play with Ivan. He's one of our more experienced players, so I'm pretty excited about our game today. So first of all, if you're seeing this game for the first time and you're interested in learning how to play, feel free to check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. It'll be linked in the video description below. Um, for today's game, uh, as always, we will be introducing our champions. So today I will be playing Kazin, Freedom Fighter. Uh, I'm going to go for an attack style deck, but also trying to keep my denizens safe at the same time. And over on the other end, we've got Ivan playing Eldrian. What kind of strategy are you bringing to the table today? Hey guys, uh, so today I'll be bringing a very spam oriented deck. Uh, hopefully I'll be uh, summoning a lot of denizens and overwhelming my opponent that way. Awesome. All right, so mulligans have been taken. So Ivan, whenever you're ready. Thank you very much. And I think for my first move, I will be playing one of my favorite openings, and that is oh. Kanea City of the Light. The reason why this is one of my favorite opening plays is because if you're the first player to play Kanea, uh, you'll be having a six card hand because you'll be activating Kanea from your from your hand, so reducing it from seven to six. But as Alvin has not taken his turn yet, he has his seven cards, and therefore his hand is full, and so he will not be able to draw. Well. I will be able to see the top card of his deck, I believe. That's right. That's I technically it. do you draw it, but I got to put it back on top. Uh -huh. I'll be taking my free draw from Kalnea. Well, not free draw, but my my card given to me by Kalnea. Mm, with that, I think I'll be playing Hidden Thicket. Okay. And when I was for, uh, and when I was a new player, this was actually uh, my favorite strat back then but now that i'm more experienced i see that there's many different plays that are very good i'll be taking my free draw now and i'll be putting a counter on hidden thicket and passing my turn all right wonderful my turn one i will gain my gold for turn i will play this card statue of the good king and then i'll use my one gold to play one of my favorite first turns toll collector so he says activated abilities of locations your opponent's control cost one more to use uh, then I'll use my free draw. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and use Statue of the Good King's arrival ability on my Toll Collector to just make him a little bit stronger. And then I'll pass like that. Go ahead, Ivan. Mm hmm. I think I'll be playing my Killer Beats. Cool. I'll be, for one gold, I'll be getting a, my, picking up my free draw. Mm hmm. And I'll be playing Black Mora Powder. Oh, okay. Mm hmm Additionally, I have not abandoned yet, so I think I'll do that now. Okay. And abandon Kalnea to draw a card. And I think I'll end my turn like that. Nice. Go ahead and get my goal for turn. Use my free draw. All right, so I will play... Statue of the Great Conqueror. Uh, let's see. I will go ahead and... Play this card here, Overprotective Mother. And then I will use the uh, Statue of the Great Conqueror to give Overprotective Mother plus zero plus one. And then I'll go ahead and play Familiar Road, choosing green as my alignment type. Very nice. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and abandon the statue and play another location. Pass. Very nice. If side color. Right. Well, this whole collector's a pain in my butt, so might get rid of him, but I don't know if there's anything I want to do besides that. What, you don't like my Toll Collector? No, nah, he's too pricey. He's been <laughs> charging me... Charges me too many taxes. It's insane. Don't you see that people have to develop their <laughs> agriculture business around here? <laughs> Farming business is rough. 
There's killer bees and everything in the way. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay. Mm. Well, I don't like how this is all developing. So I think I will do yeah, use my killer yeah, bee run into out. your toll collector. All right. Yeah. No more tolls we'll, for me. We'll both get rid of them. Mm hmm. Let's see here. I can ramp, keep ramping. I can sell. I don't know what the right choice is. Oh, let me do this to start off with. Verdant Path. I'll, um, I'll be using Verdant Path. Yep. You're uh, look free. at the top card of my deck. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is a very good card indeed. Uh, yes. I'll put in. I'll, I'll take. I'll take it as my free draw. Yes. Yeah, I'll be abandoning my... No, well, actually, first, before that, I'll be playing Isolated uh, Cottage. Yep. And then I'll abandon my Verdant Path to draw a card. That's quite good. I will be selling off my Black Mora Powder. Cool. To gain one gold, and then I'll be putting another counter on my Hidden Thicket. Get one more to gold, yeah. pay one, put one more gold, go up to two. Uh, next for my next magic trick, <laughs> I'll be playing Work the Fields uh, for three gold, and I'll be accompanying that with Explore the Unknown. Wow, for two gold. That was a very very yeah. good turn three, buddy. Thank you. Uh, all right, so go ahead and take my free draw. All right, so here's where I'm going to use my supply cash. Draw a card. And then, let's see, uh, I'm going to play Royal Treasurer and Welcome New Settlers. Mm -hmm. Pretty good card. Yeah. All right. And then uh, I'm going to have uh, Overprotective Mother uh, use her routine ability to give these three guys plus zero plus one. Uh, and then um, Synergy is now unlocked, so I'll go ahead and use the Synergy ability. Uh, I'll go ahead and play Grand Fish Market and use the Arrival mm -hmm, Ability very to good because I have two green. Uh, all right. And then I'll go ahead and now abandon this location, draw another card. Uh, all right. I'll use one of my gold to play Obstructive Roadblock, selecting your Pretty good. Isolated Cottage. And yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I can't use my last gold, so I'll just go ahead and end my turn. Pretty good. All right, so you get two campaigns going off this I turn. I do indeed. That's what I can do with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Game philosophy dictates that I run it this way. Wait. Oh my goodness, there's so many... Right, this way. I'm going to execute it this way. I'll play Audrian mm -hmm. for three gold. Mm -hmm. Right. And with that, I will get a... I'll be getting a... Location. Yeah, I like that card. I'll be putting a Statue of your Fierce Hunter into my hand. Nice. Uh, right. Uh, uh, yes, abandon, hidden, no, take my free draw, mm -hmm. if I haven't done that, so, yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Pretty, playing, oh. producing a diligent farmer token. Mm -hmm. I'll be producing a diligent farmer token, getting my agriculture business running. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, are you... I've used the ability of Diligent Farmer. Uh, go down one, go up two. I have two gold now, which is pretty good. I'll be playing Statue of Your Center. Uh, I will then be using... Yeah, I'll be using... Uh, Explore the Unknown, look at top end cards. Pretty good. I'll be getting. Uh, okay, yeah. I'll be putting this card into my hand. There we go. And yes, 
the rest of your deck. Then I'll shuffle my deck. Um, I have two gold left. I don't know what to do with that, really. Uh, let's produce some settlers. Why not? Oh, all right. Settler one, settler two. Correct. Um, and then I will abandon. I will abandon hit it. Ticket. Draw a card. Okay, okay. <sighs> wow, what a turn. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, I guess I can't attack and I can't use... Well, I do have my Statue of Fierce, Fierce Hunter, so yeah. I'll be putting one more health to Diligent Farmer. Good choice. And uh, end my turn like that. All right, wonderful. Get my gold for turn. Draw a card. All right, so here's where I will play Kazin. And then I will play a Slave Cells. And then I will have... I'll have all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Attack my Slave Cells. So that will... Allow me to produce two runaway slave tokens when the slave cells leave. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and use Kazin's ability to score myself one, two, three, four, five points. One, two, three, four, five. And then because that was three or more, I produce another runaway slave. Uh, and then mm -hmm. I will have overprotective mother give plus zero plus one to these three slaves that just entered play this turn. Uh, and then that now unlocks synergy for my royal treasurer. So I'll go ahead and use his ability now. And I will go ahead and free your isolated cottage by selling. Free myself of my cottage? Yeah. So now you can go visit your cottage. Oh, wait. Uh, I'll use the gold that Thank I you very got much. from selling the uh, roadblock to play protection initiative. Then I'll play statue of the good king to put... Let's see, another plus zero plus one on my protective mother. Uh, and none of my guys are hostile because I only attacked cards that I control. Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead and end my turn thusly. That was a very nice, lore accurate turn. <laughs> it was not bad. It was not bad. Kazen's freeing the slaves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me see here. I'll be putting some counters on my... Campaigns. Yeah, you will. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else I can do now. I'll be playing a farmer. I'll be using the ability of both my farmers this turn. Go up to seven gold. Mm -hmm. Your agriculture business is taking off. Yeah, it's booming. <laughs> Let's play a grand fish market. And you have a protection initiative as a campaign, huh? I don't like the sound of that question. <laughs> I'm just making sure that's the game state. <laughs> Please don't termination Let's notice. See here. <laughs> could be, could be. No, I uh, Please let me have my fun. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll be using Explore the Unknown. Yep. Uh, look at the top end cards. You see? Yeah. I'll be putting this card into my hand. I'll shuffle. I'll be playing Early Pioneer Ooh, for five. Yeah. yeah. And since I put a um, location this turn, I can summon two settlers. Mm hmm I will then be using the ability of Grand Fish Market to draw myself a card as I have more than two two or more denizens on the field. Yeah. I'll be playing Crowded Farmstead. Cool. Put one gold on it. I'll abandon. I'll draw a card. I'll play Isolated Cottage, and I'll take my free draw. Well, I'd like to use my last gold, but there's not really anything <laughs> I can get. You're right. I think I'll run my Audrian and my Diligent Farmer 
into your bird treasure. Okay. I use my statue of fierce hunter's ability to put one health on my diligent farmer. And I'll I'll put it on this one actually. And I'll pass my turn. All right. So when you end your turn, score three points. I'll score three points, yes. As I end my turn, I score three points. All right. Get my gold for turn. Put a phase counter in my protection initiative. And now I will draw a card. All right, on your turn, you're going to score seven points if I don't deal with any of your guys. Uh, but I'm really afraid of going hostile with my entire board. So what I'll do is instead I will play another Slave Cells. And <laughs> I will have these one, two, three, four, five, six. These guys attack my Slave Cells. And right when it leaves play i will produce two slave tokens and then i will have these oh, two nice. slaves attack into your this diligent farmer no wait no uh yeah your diligent farmer and one of your settlers so these two runaway slaves become hostile right um all right and then now i will go ahead and activate Kazin's ability to score myself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. And that will produce one more runaway slave. Then I will have my overprotective mother uh, give these three guys that just came into play one more health each. Uh, and then I'll have protection initiative give another plus zero plus one to these four guys. Then pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so I will go ahead and play Aldrian, famed explorer. Oh and my goodness. Is the go end of the game? Fetch. No, it's not the game. I'm only going to go up to 19. Uh, I will go ahead and fetch this card here and then I will go ahead and abandon this, draw another card, and then I will play Statue of the Fierce Hunter to give one more health to Eldrian. And then now I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Um, Eldrian's going to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven denizens that did not enter my active zone this turn, so I'll go up to 19. And I'll pass the turn like that. I'll put two counters. I'll start by putting two counters on my campaigns. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I can score five points this turn. I'll then play a Statue of the Pure Center. Nice. I will produce two settler tokens by the power vested in early pioneer. <laughs> Very nice. I'll abandon my first Statue of Pure Center to draw a card. I'll be using uh, the last work the fields ability to play another diligent farmer, mm -hmm. which removes it from play. I'll be using both diligent farmers abilities this turn. Yep. Go up to eight from six to eight. Yeah, I don't think I can stop you from winning here. Let me let me think. Actually, there might be an out for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is an out for me. Let me see. Nice. <laughs> it's very slim, but yeah, I can I can out this. My draws have to be immaculate, though. I'll play traveling caravan. Um, I'll be using my free draw. Mm -hmm. I'll be playing treasure hunter. I need to start getting card, getting rid of cards out of my hand. Yep. So this is yep. totally for the purpose of getting cards out of my hand. Yeah, exactly. Um. So that was my free draw. I'll be putting a counter on my crowded farmstead. A draw card. Yep. No, well, the thing is, even if I do, I could still keep drawing. But even if I do run into my out, it's I won't have the money for it. Right. Are we playing diligent farmer for two. Right, and now you're out of gold. Yeah. So I think with that, I think I'll. End my turn score one, two, three, four, five points. Yes. 
So all I have to do is end my turn. I don't even have to attack with anything because Eldrian will see all these guys and score me a whole bunch of points. GG, Alvin. Good game. That was um, a pretty lucky draw for me to get the two slave cells. Produced a lot of slaves. Um, I think I freed a little too many slaves this game. Kind of just ran away with it. But yeah, your turns, there were crazy amounts of value. I feel like if you had just one more turn, that could have easily swung over to to your uh, in your favor. So yeah, what? how did you feel about that game, Ivan? Yeah, you know, I, I think I had a good momentum throughout the game, and I had lots of removal. Unfortunately, I think you saw it coming, and you're pretty cautious with which cards you were attacking with, so I never really could activate all my my uh, tactics to eliminate your cards. So you played really, really well. Uh, if I had just one more term, I think I would have etched it out, but you beat me to it. <laughs> oh, man. I appreciate that, man. Uh, this was a lot of fun, and... Yeah, um, looking forward to play more games with you. It's always fun to play against you, man. Your uh, your experience definitely comes into play, and your uh, the value that you get from each turn from your sequencing is just very, very good. It just uh, it showcases, I think, how how much the uh, the knowledge of the game comes into play. So yeah, um, thanks everyone for watching the episode. That is uh, the end of the episode. Ivan, would you like to leave our audience with anything before we head out? Uh, nothing much. Uh, I just hope you guys all pick up me and Deer. It's a great game. I've certainly had a lot of fun learning it, and I hope you guys do too. Awesome. All right, everyone. See you next time.